All right, sorry for the connection issues, everybody. Um, as a reminder in class, as part of our final review, we covered lines, functions, and compositions last time. So today we're gonna start with transformations or translations. What we have is a function y equals the square root of x. And you basically know what this function looks like. It's something like that. But what we want to do is we want to reflect this function across the y-axis. Then we want to shift it right, and then we want to shift it down. Let's do this one step at a time. If this here is the square root of x, and we want to reflect that over the y-axis, the rule for reflecting something over the y-axis is we replace x with negative x. Okay, that's a start. The next thing we want to do is we want to shift this thing right four units. To shift the function right four units, what we want to do is replace x with x minus four. That's going to take every point on this graph, including zero, zero here, and it's going to shift all of those points right four units. So now our graph is going to look like this, and it's going to be the square root of negative, and in parentheses, x minus four. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can get all of this on one page. And finally, the last step we want is we want to shift this whole thing down five units. If we want to shift a function down five units, we just subtract five. We can subtract that five right from the end of the function. Notice that our point zero, zero back here shifted up to the point four zero over here. And now every point on this graph is gonna shift down five units. So that point is gonna move down here to the point four, negative five. And this is not the most accurate graph, but this will look something like that. The actual function is gonna look just like that. You might need a y equals on there, you may not, but that is gonna do it for this problem in the final review. This is actually problem 10 in the final review. Let's go to the next problem.